Okay. So now let's see the output in the target. See here with the today's date, the two files has been generated. So here, how many records loaded? Total, we have 64 records. In 64 records, 64 records, uh, eight records got rejected. Let's see that what are those eight records. Close. Okay, so total 56 records. So here uh, 57 is there. Why it is 57? First one, we need to, that has been included with header. 57 minus 1, that is 56. This match, right? And 8 records got rejected. Let's see what are those 8, uh, eight rejects, eight rejected uh, records. So you can see here. 1, 2. So it has been uh, header also treated as a record. So that is the reason 8 records got rejected. Okay. So here, one more thing we have forgot. So first line, we have included the header. So that is the reason uh, it, it is giving like this. Okay. First line, we should include, uh, first line we should include column name as a true. So guys, here you can see, are you able to see this double quotes? Why these double quotes are coming? Any reason? So in the sequential file stage here in the reject, no? Okay, so in the reject sequential file stage, not here. So this one, first line consider as a true. Okay. And here you can see, we have given here double quotes. Let's remove that, not needed. Click on okay. Okay. So, and rerun the chart. Rerun the chart. Now save, compile, and rerun the chart. Okay. Oh, okay, right, right, right. So there is an error like unable to open the file. So when you are opening the file, no, here the file has been opened. I need to close the file because whenever uh, data stage want to write some data into a file, that should be in close mode. Okay. So here, uh, rerun the job again. So here in designer, what happens is if the job got aborted, we cannot run directly. We have to compile the job. Or you have to reset the job in director and you can run in uh, designer or director. Okay. Uh, log, right? Uh, unable to open uh, target file, unknown error. Unknown error, yeah. So that is the reason file has opened. Okay. Okay. So now save compile, uh, run, run the job. I have done the compilation. Now you can see four records. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing in the source. Let's... Okay. 57 records. Yeah. So now uh, let's start with the row number case. Instead of uh, employee number, let's start with the row number. Click on OK. Save, compile, and run this. So, before that, let's see the rejected data output. So, here we have removed the double quotes, right? So, here this record king has uh, some problem. It, I think it has some null data. So, king won't report to anyone. This is reporting manager ID is null. That is the reason it is a null data. All the king records in each file got rejected here. Got it? 
Now save, compile, and run on this job. I have changed the sort, uh, sort mode to this one. So in source, what is that uh, column uh, value for the king, the particular uh, reporting manager? Is it blank or null? Yeah, it's blank only. Let's see this here. So this is the one mm, king. Yeah, it's in empty is there. Okay, okay, okay. King empty, okay, okay. So that is the reason all the files, wherever king is there, that is getting rejected. Okay. So here we have sorted. No, so, so we have enabled runtime propagation also. Sorry. Runtime propagation RCP. Ah, so here we have defined all the columns now. Okay. Okay. You can see here it has been uh, row number starts with zero. Oh, okay, row numbering starts with zero. Up to it went to. Fifty-nine. Okay, so there are some reject, reject, rejected rejected uh, right in the meeting. Okay, so another way to capture the rejects. So if they want to, I want if the user source team wants to see the rejected data, we have to share it in a sequential file. And if the, if they don't want to see the rejected data, if any rejected data comes, okay. So another option is we can have a peak stage. Peak will uh, capture the rejects. Okay, so and it will uh, peak will give the uh, log information. Uh, it will capture the log information. What are the failure records? Now save. Okay, so de just delete this. Go to development and dependency stage, peak. Just drag and drop. So here for partition, we can, uh, how many records you want. So I don't want to do the partition. I want to see all the rejected records. Click on, yes, true. So that will output, the peak output records will see in the job log. Okay. So any delimit interesting that you want to say, set, you can say. Okay, show all the columns or few columns, listed columns. Show all the columns. Okay, click on all partitions. Now save, compile, and read on the chart. Okay, so let me open director. You can see the log over there. Yeah. No. So this is the peak. Let's see this in the peak. Okay. So here you can see the rejected records. Okay. So four rejected records we have. So this error also, this particular error also is due to uh, this warning is also due to this uh, some conversion issue. Okay. So here when you read implicit conversion integers result of possible loss of data limitation. Okay. So we can give a big integer or something. Okay, so let's let's try to resolve this uh, warnings. Okay, so here uh, when you give the nullability, no. Okay, so here what happens is uh, data will be rejected. Okay, so I don't want that to happen now. So what I will do? So I will take this file, okay?
So here, let's uh, imagine the big gate will give big gate. See, it starts with zero, and all the records are getting processed. How many? And here you need to handle the nulls. When you define nullability, yes means here you have to handle the nulls. I'll fill value, single space. Okay. Now click on okay. So here in the mapping, here you have to set uh, how many? Let's delete everything here in the output. Oh, okay. I deleted in the cancel. So I should delete in the output. Sorry. Okay. So in the output. So let me delete all this stuff. Or you can give this is a begin. Okay. Instead of deleting, just set the nullability to yes. Okay. Click on OK. So now save, compile, and run this job. So here, what is this warning? Again, new warnings received. In file two, it is receiving warning. What is this? That warning can be handled. How we can handle that warning? We can handle that warning. So here it is saying we have not you have defined nullability yes here, but you are not handled the nulls. So that is the reason here in the format I have added null field value single space. Now click on OK. Save, compile, and return this. Thing. That's it. See here, 